My name is Martin Crowley and I'm a member of the French Department and the Faculty of Modern and Medieval Languages here in the University of Cambridge where I'm also a Fellow of Queen's College. Very simply, uh, in fact, in that um, so I studied languages at school um, and enjoyed them, got a lot out of them and discovered that um, studying languages was this way of finding a way to, to become a different person, really, fundamentally. Um, so by getting deep into somebody else's culture through the language, then this is a way of finding out all sorts of things about other parts of the world, but also being able to immerse yourself in that and sort of pretend to be it to an extent. Uh, and this really worked for me when I was a teenager, so I kind of kept going with that and then did that through uh, to um, an undergraduate degree as well. Um, and then I took a little bit of a time um, after the undergraduate degree to explore some other things uh, and I went and worked for, still within languages, but I worked for uh, a bilingual dictionary editing firm for a couple of years um, and then decided that I did want to come back to academia. Um, so I came back, did a PhD uh, in French and then that was it then, got my first job. So overwhelmingly it was languages. Um, because they seemed to be going rather well, so I just kind of kept going with that and enjoyed that. Um, I was also, you know, I was very much on the arts and humanities side of things, um, so as well as languages it would have been English and history, um, but languages always stood out. Um, partly I think because of this constant contact with other cultures, other ways of thinking, other ways of saying things, and that connection to the idea that ways of saying things change the way that you look at the world, all of that. Um, that was what really excited me at school um, and so that's what I decided to keep going with. So I work um, in the field of modern and contemporary French thought really, thought and culture, um, that's what's in my title. Um, so that means that um, I started off um, from PhD onwards really being a specialist in modern French literature um, and from there um, I've developed to work more uh, on some French film um, and also especially at the moment so for re in recent years I've almost entirely been working on modern and contemporary French philosophy. In languages, in modern languages um, we do all sorts of things. It's one of the most exciting things about the subject is that it will open up uh, doors. As a discipline, it's incredibly open and it opens onto all sorts of different aspects. So um, thinking about things that are going on in different areas of modern languages, we have um, people working in linguistics who do incredible things. Uh, for example, forensic linguistics, which is you know, advising in court cases um, through analysis of speech patterns and things like this. We have colleagues working on minority and endangered languages, which are languages spoken by tiny, tiny numbers of people in the world, and that those colleagues are researching those to preserve a sense of those structures and to understand what they can teach us. Um, we have um, people doing uh, work on history and cultural history. Um, so, you know, I have a colleague who's just recently published the definitive history of the Holy Roman Empire, for example. And we have colleagues working on things like um, Latin American soap operas. Um, so, it really is all sorts of things. Um, closest to home for me, um, probably the most exciting developments in the sort of modern French end of things, modern French culture kind of end of things in research terms, um, have probably been on two fronts really. One would be film studies. Um, there's been a huge explosion um, of work in film over the last decade or so, to the point where now it's at absolutely at the heart of what we do as a, in terms of teaching and research. Um, and closest to me, um, there's a lot of interesting work being done around um, contemporary French philosophy, um, particularly philosophies of technology, um, and not seeing that particularly in a kind of language-specific way, but looking at the way that you know, some of the people who are thinking about these things in France and in French 
are connected to other um, developments elsewhere in the world. And interestingly, there's been a, a lot of crossover between the film and the philosophy. There's a, a, a big boom area in the last few years has been what's called film philosophy, which is using aspects of philosophy to think about films, but also looking at how films themselves offer ways of thinking about all sorts of different topics. If you're interested in pursuing modern languages, then there are two essential dimensions that you're going to need to explore. And there's essentially, on the one hand, the languages themselves, and on the other hand, the culture. And again, the great thing about modern languages is that you get both together. And in a sense, as soon as you get a language, then you get access to the culture and so on. So I think what I would advise people to do is to pursue their understanding of and enjoyment of the languages for their own sake um, and to keep pushing that and delight in finding the ability to say new things and express yourself in new ways and to understand exactly what the differences are between the way that this language looks at certain things to the way that your language does whilst also exploring the culture and exploring the culture has never been easier there's so much available online um, whether it be um, blogs, vlogs, um, news programs, films, all sorts of stuff that you can explore online at all sorts of levels linguistically and you can absolutely pace yourself. You can also um, you know, hook up for conversation exchanges with people in the countries whose languages you're studying. Um, so you can actually be exchanging with people your own age uh, and learning about you know, their lives and what matters to them, whilst also improving your language and your knowledge of the culture. So I would say love the languages and explore those in as much detail as you can, but also be bold and hungry when it comes to exploring the culture. And don't, there's no reason to limit yourself. So you know, any language, any modern language you're studying, you're going to find that there is so much in that culture whether it be films or literature or visual arts um, or history, whatever it might be, find the thing that excites you and go with that. And you find a thread and start pulling and you never know where it might lead.